We can never stop relearning. See, if your job evolves faster than you do, you're out of date. You're easily replaced. So never stop relearning. And we've got to learn what Toastmasters teaches, first of all. Learn what's typically called, and I find it an insulting term, soft skills. Because they're not soft by any means. They are the skills that produce the hard realities, the outcomes that we want. Okay? But learn personal competence. Learn social competencies. See, self-leadership, that's the key here. Social, soft skills don't become obsolete. They're portable. You can take you to a new in, environment and you can lead there. So here's a leader's dilemma. All right, what if I train my people and then they just leave? Well, that's a valid concern. Here's a more important concern. What if you don't? <laughs> and they stay. That would be self-inflicted mediocrity, okay? <laughs> Boy, I tell you. See, the first thing we've got to do as leaders is we've got to get our people to embrace the genetic code of the organization. They've got to know the purpose, the vision, the mission, values, brand identity that we've chosen for the organization. And Toastmasters, it's real clear. From the time you join Toastmasters, you learn of Ralph Smedley's vision. You learn of how the organization has evolved over the years. You see what this organization stands for, who it cares about, and why, and what they do. Friends, helping friends succeed. Wonderful theme, wonderful theme. Okay, so the first role of a leader is to get their people to embrace the genetic code. Now look at this, I'm gonna draw a quick little uh, parallel between the industrial era that we just left and the eco-tech, if you will, era that we've now entered. Instead of looking at organizations as machines, we look at them as living organisms. Instead of doing business nine to five, we do business all 24 hours a day. Formal education is now perpetual education. You never stop learning. Eye contact has been uh, supplemented with e-contact. If you can only do it face to face, you're, you're missing opportunities. You gotta be able to reach people electronically and bond as well. It used to be, it's not what you know, it's who you know. But what I wanna know is who knows you back? Whose Rolodex or database are you in? That tells me who your real contacts are, right? And IQ is being supplemented with EQ, emotional intelligence. We used to say knowledge is power, now knowledge is available to everybody. Access is power. Sales used to be persuasion, now it's partnering, partnering excuse me. Used to be about keeping up, today keeping up is impossible, so we just gotta stay in the game, right? <laughs> Do it yourself is now do it together. No more lone wolf. Institutions rule has given way to individuals rule. Now think of that one. In a time when information and power has shifted from institutions, organizations, to individuals, when the individual has the access to information and therefore has the power to make decisions, self-leadership is king. Self-leadership is king. Because if you can't lead you, please don't lead me, <laughs> right? In a time when self-leadership is king, those who can't get themselves to do what needs to be done when it needs to be done, whether they feel like it or not and still do it well, don't lead, they lose. 